I hereby declare this congregation open. Please be seated. Graduates, guests, as Vice Chancellor of the University and on behalf of all my colleagues assembled here, I am delighted to welcome you all today to the beautiful setting of the Royal Festival Hall as we celebrate the success of our graduates. And of course, a special welcome to all of you wearing the distinctive Roehampton blue, red, and yellow academic dress. The reason we are here today, the only reason we are here today, is well known to all of us on this platform. It's your hard work. You have sat the assignments, you have written the project reports, we have been demanding, and you have delivered. Degrees today will be conferred by Professor Dame Jacqueline Wilson, the Chancellor of the University. We are very fortunate to have Jacqueline as our Chancellor, someone who is, I am sure, as well known to you as she is well known to millions of people around the world as one of the country's best known and best loved children's writers. Jacqueline has been a close friend to the University for many years and it is a great honour to have her with us to confer the degrees today. I now call upon Professor Dame Jacqueline Wilson to give her opening address. Let me start by expressing my own congratulations to all of you on successfully completing your degree. Whatever subject you studied and whatever award you're collecting at this ceremony, you've achieved a wonderful thing by getting here to this day. Graduating from university is a great achievement, whether this is your first degree, your master's or doctorate, and you can rightly feel very proud of yourself. The university is proud of you, and I've no doubt your family and friends are proud of you too. They too deserve our congratulations today and our thanks for all the help they've given you. And I think we should recognize their part in all of this with a big round of applause for them. When I was growing up, I was an avid reader. I love the way that words and stories could transport you to another place and to another world. All that reading turned me into a writer. And as a writer, I understand that everyone has their own story to tell. And today marks a very significant chapter in your own. Standing here, I can't help but wonder what happens next for you all. Where does your story take you? As a Roehampton graduate, I have no doubt that very good things will happen and that you will go on to do wonderful things and really make a difference in the world around you. You may not realize it, but you will have gained so many life skills during your time at Roehampton, in addition to all the knowledge gained from your course. And I'm sure many of you will reflect that you've changed from the person you were when you first joined us. You'll have learned more about being independent, about self-motivation and self-discipline. You'll have become more confident. You'll have learned more about yourself and what you can achieve. And you will hopefully have also made many new friends, friendships that will last you many years to come, if not a lifetime. Today marks the end of your studies, for the moment at least, but it doesn't mark the end of our relationship with you. As a Roehampton graduate, you're warmly welcomed into the Roehampton Alumni Association. Within this community, you will find fellow Roehampton graduates, now in successful careers, who've committed their time to support, mentor, and advise recent graduates on their next steps. You can find out more about the mentoring scheme and the Alumni Association online. Whether you're clear about your next steps or not, the future may seem a daunting prospect, 
But don't let it be. Don't think you need to accomplish your goals in the next five years. Think of your immediate future as an opportunity to take action. So every person you meet, every conversation you connect with, and every leader you admire, take action and learn from them. 175 years ago, our first students, or women, of our oldest college, Whitelands, graduated with certificates in education and set out to become teachers. Our lives today are very different to those women, but one can imagine that they too may have thought about their next steps with a mix of trepidation and excitement. For those women and the many thousands of graduates over the last 175 years who've gone before you, the core values of our founding colleges have endured and informs our purpose today, providing the best education possible to everyone who can benefit from them, regardless of their background, understanding and improving our world through a spirit of curiosity and discovery, and helping our students develop the confidence, knowledge, and adaptability they need for a successful graduate career and a fulfilling life. Now, for some of you here today, graduation feels like an end. For, one, for some, a beginning. Whatever today feels like for you, be sure to follow your passion and your instinct. So once again, many congratulations and good luck for the future. <laughs> Chancellor, as head of the Department of Life Sciences, I present graduates for awards. In the name and authority of the University of Roehampton, I confer upon graduands present and graduands in absentia first and higher degrees of the university. Degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Enda King. Enda's thesis is titled Relationship of 3D Biomechanical Analysis with Outcomes After ACL Reconstruction. He was supported in his research by his Director of Studies, Dr. Siobhan Strike, and supervisors, Chris Richter and Dr. Ross Wadey. <laughs> Humayun Mohammed. Humayun's thesis is titled The Design and Delivery of a Patient-Informed Intervention to Improve Adherence to a Gluten-Free Diet in ad Adults with Celiac Disease. He was supported in his research by his Director of Studies, Dr. Yvonne Jeans, and his supervisors, Dr. Sue Reeves and Professor John Mabry. <laughs> Degree of Master of Science, Shamela Majoka. <laughs> Anissa B.B. Malik. Samaya Reem Mahroom. Karen Vijay. Daniel Alam. Degree of Bachelor of Science, Sophie Arts. Anna Abdullahi Dire. <laughs> Idman Abdullahi Abshir. <laughs> Nawaf Ali Abdi Abukar. <laughs> Mustaf Adan. <laughs> Amar Adi. Mohamed Agwali. <laughs> and for the Southlands John Wesley Chaplaincy Award, Zoya Ahmed. <laughs> and
Aslima Akhtar Jahir. Sahima Akta Mikol Ali Hassan Asiya Ali Lena Al Jabbar Sarah Bukampir And the Southland John Wesley Chaplaincy Award goes to Zanzilla Annum. Sarah Haggerty Arthur. Kira Marie Bakulod. Iosha Adam Beeching. Joshua Adam Beeching, sorry. Maria Vardy. <laughs> Zoe May Bloomfield. <laughs> Emelina Bradella. <laughs> Joshua Thomas Brown. <laughs> Monique Estella Campbell. Matthew James Carr. <laughs> Rory William Henry Caradus. <laughs> Amiel Rachel Castro. <laughs> Thanwa Chan. <laughs> Andrea Patricia Cobra Alfonso. Louisa Codd. <laughs> Melanie Constantine. <laughs> Gabriel John Cuhane. <laughs> Alex George Cunningham. <laughs> Jade Johan Davenport. Ross Jack DeLucci. <laughs> Joshua James Clark Devane. <laughs> Regina D. Giacomo. <laughs> Martina DeRigio. <laughs> Thomas Andrew Dunn. Estefiana Duke Lopez. <laughs> Lawrence Alawafemi Abufio. <laughs> Eleni George Elethiro. <laughs> Sarah Farzam. Amina Faluki. <laughs> Jacopo Ferroni. <laughs> Luca Galvio Bueno. <laughs> and the Student Achievement Prize for the BSc in Nutrition and Health is Natalia Maria Gallen Lopez. <laughs> the Year 3 Prize, the BSc in Sport and Exercise Science, and the Best Dissertation Prize, the BSc in Sport and Exercise Science, goes to Dominic Alexander Gray. The Institute of Biomedical Science President's Award goes to David Greaves. <laughs> Leanne Marie Greamer. <laughs> Elise.
Evelina Griccinati. Alisa Marey Giang. Balmeet Singh Galati. Prejant Garong. Usma Hakimi. Noor Habib Hakimzada. Anna Hall. Erica Marie Hansen. Jordan Alexander Harris. The Year 3 prize to the BSc in Biological Sciences goes to Reagan Thomasina Hall. Jizem Hassan. Farhad Abdullah Jassim Hassan. Joseph Ryan Hawkins. Jessica Emily Hazel. Paulina Violet Heaked. Elsie Divyani Hemachandran. <laughs> Sumaya Haji Abdullahi. <laughs> Frederica Holst. <laughs> Oliver James Hopkins. Jonathan Hrusa. <laughs> Tareem Iftakar Sheikh. <laughs> Injuta Ilananathan. <laughs> Numan Iqbal. The Year 3 prize for the BSc in Zoology goes to Justin Ephraim Isip. <laughs> Mohammed Arbos Azir Izimdar. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth James. Tariq Connor Jobson. Omar Ricardo Johnson. The prize for the presentation at the Sport and Exercise Student Conference goes to Michael John Joplin. Mohammed Kadam. Angeliki Karathasani. <laughs> Abdirahman Botan Karai. <laughs> Angeli Vijay Ketkar. <laughs> Adam Khan. Sohal Khan. <laughs> Shalzil Ahmed Khan. <laughs> Ayat Kalaf. <laughs> Arman Edin Khan. <laughs> Zarina Khan. 
Jack Anthony Kingsnorth. Prize for the presentation at the Sport and Exercise Student Conference, Ryan Peter Knight. Vithusiga Krishna. Thu Kin. Lucy Michelle Lapham. Jessica McLean. Matthew Elliot Lawden Dean. Brianna Molly Lawton. Isabel Leverson. Harriet Jessica Forbes Lowe. Chloe Lowe. Sakana Mardi. Munir Mammo. Jean Fabrice Terry Mandarin. Mary Petronella Manners. Jessica Catherine Martin. The prize for the contribution to the Department of Life Sciences goes to Anastasia Marku. <laughs> Elena Rowena Mason. <laughs> the Year 3 prize for the BSc in Sports Psychology goes to Catherine Elizabeth Holmes Accult Matir. Callum Matheson. <laughs> Lena Sandra Matthews. <laughs> Laura Jane McDonough. <laughs> Adam Paul McGarry. <laughs> Jamie Alexander Mackay. Gavin John McMahon. <laughs> Caitlin Merrick. <laughs> Ruby Jo Metcalf. <laughs> Triska Miran. <laughs> Mazume Mifanzade. Zainab Mohammed. <laughs> Aisha Sadiqa Mohammed. <laughs> Fuad Said Mohammed. <laughs> Hannah Mohammed. <laughs> Olivia Ray Munsour. Alex Nelson. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Niles. <laughs> Emma Jane O'Brien. <laughs> Callum George Orris. <laughs> Victoria Diana O'Sullivan. Lakshmi Krishka Padmakumar Shailatha. <laughs> Lakshmi 
Donnell Patrick. Dean John Payne. <laughs> Sam Pound. <laughs> Lydia Powell. <laughs> Michelle Pradeep Kumar. <laughs> Archena Pusparaja. Lena Quadan, <laughs> Prachia Ray, <laughs> Ruchitha Ramasnathan, <laughs> Viola Rama, <laughs> Nicholas Dualabi Wilson. Mohammed Mosrana, <laughs> Rakaya Nor Abdul Razak, <laughs> Raydonna Shamika Roberts, <laughs> Marley Roberts. Lydia Robertson, Samuel Rochester, Chloe Isabel Rooks, Elise Rose Rourke, Alexander Lewis Rudge. Molly Louise Rycroft, <laughs> Joanne Shazadi Sadiq, <laughs> and the Year Three Prize for the BSc in Biomedical Sciences goes to Ladan Abdahifka Saeed. Umakultham Ali Said, <laughs> Senan Ilka Sally, <laughs> Mareda Radimova Sariska, <laughs> Andreas Savchenko. And the Year 3 prize of the BSc in Anthropology goes to Jana Sharmila Sen. <laughs> Huda Surfag. <laughs> Ashlyn Kwasethi. Shangderpa Lama, Arshan Sindwani, Shadithan Siva Palasinkum, Brooklyn Sloan. James Alastair Smith, <laughs> Oliver Isaac Spink, <laughs> Tequan Walters, <laughs> William David Sturdy, <laughs> Zainab Subhi.
Tom Suckling. Olimata Tal. Chitra Tejpal. Tiana Lacey Thomas. Callum Harry Tickner. Kadif Toki. Victor Mark Tomchensko. Joan Hun Tsang. Arsen Ujkaj. Gabriel Kalichi Nubusui Ulu. Michael Callum Victory. George Ward. Thomas Jack West. Danny Harry Wheeler. Dananji Keshari Witanuji. Amanda Wijewantha. Cornelia Rue. Shanice Wilson. Christian Wilmot. Tamsin Ann Wiskin. Rianne Grace Woolard. Lena Yusuf. Jacob Jersey Zydron. David Lewis. <laughs> Chancellor, this ends the conferment of awards from the Department of Life Sciences. Chancellor, as Head of the Department of Social Sciences, I present graduates for awards. In the name and authority of the University of Roehampton, I confer upon graduates present and graduates in absentia first and higher degrees of the university. <laughs> Degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Ahalia Belasundaram. Ahalia's thesis is titled, <laughs> unfortunately there isn't a title, uh, she was supported by her research in a research by a director of studies, Professor John Ead, and her supervisor, Professor Aisha Gill. Well done. Degree of Master of Arts. Cheryl Samantha Ojijimi Solomon. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Law, Mariah Aramidi <laughs> Adjokan. <laughs> Fatima Na Nasser Abdullah. Tasmina Allen. Yeah. 
Nimra Anjum. Sahab Bakhtiar. Alicia Katie Bradford. William Emil Neto Candy. Nabil Chaudhry. Prize for Outstanding Performance on LLB Law Programme, Julia Monica Schwietz. <laughs> William Francis Downey. <laughs> William Michael Geary. <laughs> Claudette Olivia Gentles. Phoebe Elizabeth Harris. <laughs> Maria Hogger. <laughs> Humza Ali Hussain. <laughs> Gurmit Cole. Kanza Khan, <laughs> Anisha Kumari, <laughs> Jessica Locke, <laughs> Yan Long, <laughs> Hebert Mansour. Reshma Fazana Mia. <laughs> Charles Stanley Christopher Mugglestone. <laughs> Remy Noel Lalji. <laughs> Hannah Louise Parkinson. Harveen Kaur Pathel. <laughs> Christo Peshikaj. <laughs> Rajmina Akhtar. <laughs> Sadia Shafi. Faye Shoebridge. <laughs> Abby Smith. <laughs> Konstantinos Mikhail Tashibidis. <laughs> Molly Amy Willems. Aruj Fatima Razak. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Science, Anissa Abdi. <laughs> Leone Agyei. <laughs> Rebecca Alexandru. Haujan Khan Alton. Anika Anjum. Alexandra Arman. Goxel Avlik. Best Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Ezra Agin. (laughs) 
Alexis Julia Bailey. <laughs> Victoria Barr. <laughs> Shannon Margaret Bamgarten. <laughs> Charles Matthew Biggs. Osolia Anna Boas. Sean Boyd. The Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Alexander Rita Campbell. Wuxia Chowdhury. Sophia Cole. <laughs> Curly Kushikondo. <laughs> Joseph Benjamin Anderson Cumberbatch. <laughs> Kinga Shewinska. <laughs> Safadada. Charlotte Danes, Michael Dennis, Alicia Desange, Best Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Shannon Marie Isles. Joanna Flade. Danielle Louise Fleming. Amira Gad. Georgia George. Jade Ferguson. <laughs> Max Germain. <laughs> Amber Gill. <laughs> Jennifer Margaret Grimmett. <laughs> Rudy Gareggi. Luca Kitty Hagen. <laughs> Faye Henderson. <laughs> Carlel Hunter. <laughs> Ileana Morales. <laughs> Habon Jama. Alan Kabir. Kimberly Christina King. Claudia Magdalena Komowenska. Alice Georgia Lamp. Prize for Outstanding Achievement in Sociology, Criminology, Hind Lambrabet. <laughs> Tashala Unika Lawson. <laughs> Bryony Anna Lender U Ferguson. <laughs> Connie Lightley. Our Aisha Lodder. <laughs> Builder Osterbo Lawrenson. Mm -hmm. 
Daisy Ann Lovelock. Alia Tanya Mahmood. George Anthony Meringue. Nicole Lisa Joyce McDermott. Best Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Danielle McMinn. Caitlin Olaid Sonia Metal. Charmaine Mia. Vian Mohammed. Falak Mughal. Georgina Susan Nakieri Mikaleri. <laughs> Best Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Zainab Najib. <laughs> Best Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Neelam Nori. Bethany Elizabeth Nunn. <laughs> Nyla Omar Nuruddin. <laughs> Isaac Barnaby Parker. <laughs> Noor Pasha. Claudia Sarah Pomeronki. <laughs> Best Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Rachel Alice Powell. <laughs> Faisal Golza Qureshi. <laughs> Anup Rai. Sandesh Sangram Rai. <laughs> Chicane Alia Rochester. <laughs> Nora Lane Sabah. <laughs> Ladan Awil Samaroon. Zakia Nurilamin Sanjana. <laughs> Nicholas Savas Savadidis. <laughs> Nisha Devi Sharma. <laughs> Rihanna Jennifer Rose Slack. Cameron James Stitchbury. <laughs> Paulina Katazina Sipula. <laughs> Leila Tanseri. <laughs> Patrick Alexander Thomas. Best Dissertation Prize for BSc in Criminology, Kayleen Sky Whale. <laughs> Jamie Joshua Williams. <laughs> Damani Kai Wilson Bryce. <laughs> the Sister Dorothy Bell Prize. Shave Willoughby. <laughs> Kalia Erica Bargin Williams. <laughs> 
Foundation Degree of Arts taught at Carshalton College, Alice Nantongo. <laughs> Degree of Bachelor of Arts taught at Carshalton College, Sheba Nanjigiza. Chancellor, this ends the conferment of awards. I would now like to invite the President of the Students' Union to say a few words. That round of applause was brilliant. <laughs> anyway, firstly, congratulations. Reaching today was no small feat. It is a day to celebrate, a day to remember, and a day to take pride in. But today is not about today. The end of any journey derives its importance not from the fact that it ends, but from the path that you take that leads you there. Today marks the end of your Roehampton journey, and there are no others better placed to know or to understand the tremendous effort, dedication, and passion that you will have poured into your degree than the people sat in this room today, your peers, your academics, and your family and friends. Your university experience will have been unique, unique because of your own adventures, because of your friends, and of the lessons learned and the life lived. You shaped and tailored your own experience, which will have in turn shaped you to be the person you are today. As much as being an experience to the individual, university is one of the collective. It is together that we have evolved, together that we have grown, and together that we can celebrate today. You not only belong to the Roehampton community, but you've helped define and build it too, whether you studied on campus, online, or with one of our partners. Many memories from university we share in common, the satisfaction from finishing a paper, submitting that paper minutes before the deadline, the awkward icebreakers, the great friends, finding our steady self studying long after dark, countless nights spent procrastinating when we should be studying, trying something new, and of course, the magical feeling after a late night fez or bop. Many of those memories are now behind us, but we'll carry the knowledge they bestowed upon us long into our future. You may not realize it, but each and every one of you has left your mark and made an impact upon Roehampton. Your friends have had more fun, thanks to you. Your classmates have had more debate, thanks to you. And your lecturers will have learned much from you too. Getting your degree won't have been easy. There were many ups and downs, highs and lows, setbacks and success. Many of you will have studied while managing work and family life. There will have been tough moments and hardship, but they make today so much more meaningful and impressive. You will always be a part of Roehampton, and we watch with eager anticipation the remarkable feats you will go on to achieve. Be bold, be courageous in what you do, and be your best, and never forget how amazing you truly are. It has been an honour, we love you, and we wish you all the very best of luck in your future. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day with your family and friends. I would now like to pass you back over to the Vice-Chancellor to conclude this ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. And I would like to add my own personal congratulations to you ahead of your graduation in a few hours. As we come towards the end of our ceremony, I would like to take this last opportunity on behalf of all the staff at the university to congratulate you all. You have proved your strength of character and your abilities 
by achieving your degrees. Always remember that such a high award is not bestowed lightly by the university. You have earned it. So thank you for the hard work that has brought you here. <clears throat> Desmond Tutu said, when you stand out in a crowd, it's only because you're being carried on the shoulders of others. And before I close, I am sure that you would also wish me to say a special thank you on behalf of everyone here to the support staff and your teachers whose efforts, enthusiasm, and dedication have made today possible. So I'm going to ask my colleagues to stand. And for those of you graduating today, to thank them in the usual fashion. Thank you. Whatever award you have achieved, I have no doubt that your success has required determination, commitment, and a capacity for sheer hard work. There may well have been times along the way when you felt you had reached a point where you just couldn't do any more. And then you found that actually you could. What you thought were your limits weren't limits at all. They were just new starting points. And that's what a good education is about. Finding reserves of strength you didn't know you had. Finding a confidence in yourself you didn't have before. And finding new possibilities that didn't seem open to you until now. Your degree will have helped you develop the skills you will need, not just for your first job, but for the career and the life ahead of you. I encourage you to make the most of what is on offer to you as an alumni of Roehampton. Today, you joined many thousands of graduates who are part of our global Roehampton community. Reach out to them to help you and support your future career, whichever path you take. And finally, there is one other group of people we need to thank. It's your supporters, your family, your friends who have been with you encouraging you with an online grocery ordered, paid for, or fuel for the car, or an Oyster card top-up, or perhaps just a smile, a hug, or a word of advice. So, I would like our graduates to stand. Turn around to face your family and friends and thank them in the usual fashion. Thank you. <laughs> at um, at Roehampton, our values are rooted in our history and the heritage of our four colleges. They give us a very clear sense of mission to help all our students achieve their full potential whatever their background, and for our academics to produce research that improves society around us. Much has changed throughout our history since our first college was created in 1841, but what hasn't changed are these values and our commitment to you, our students. You have arrived today at what might seem like a crossroads or, as Jacqueline has said at the start of our ceremony, the beginning of a new chapter as one closes. You leave the ceremony today no longer Roehampton students, but Roehampton graduates. As the next phase of your journey begins, I encourage you to look back with pride 
at what you have achieved. Be proud, because we are proud of you. This is also your opportunity to make your future about what's not just important to you, but to society. This is what Roehampton graduates do. I often describe Roehampton as an engine of social progress, but it's not us, the staff, that make the greatest difference to society. It's you, our graduates, who will, through the values and character you have developed with us, make the world a better place. I urge you to be creative and adaptable. You will face a world of opportunities and challenges that none of us in this room can truly predict. But as you start the next phase of your journey, as a Roehampton graduate, ask yourself, what is important to you and to the communities around you? How can I improve not only my life, but the lives of those around me? Your generation, the class of 2019 graduates, will make decisions that will shape our future. You will become leaders, team players, influencers, and change makers. Whatever your choice, we wish you every success on your journey, and we'll watch you with pride. So once again, many congratulations. The ceremony for the conferment of degrees is now closed.